Hello everyone, thanks for checking out my video. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to use Awesome Miner and Mining Pool Hub to mine Ethereum. So let's get started. Okay, first thing you need to do is download Awesome Miner. I'll leave a link in the description. Make sure you get the full program here, Awesome Miner Installer. Download that, install it. Next step would be to go to Mining Pool Hub. And if you haven't signed up already, sign up. Make sure you pick a username that's easy to remember because you will type it in later on. And then let's go on over here to Awesome Miner. After you install Awesome Miner, you'll have a wizard here to add new miners. We'll go ahead and click on Next. And then we're going to go to Managed Profit Miner. Click on Next. All right, let's give it a name. Call it Miner1. And it says here Miner Host Local. Uh, for your profit switching profile, um, you will set this to whichever type of graphics card you have. So if you have AMD, use the AMD profile. And if you have NVIDIA, use the NVIDIA profile. This ensures that the mining software is tailored for that particular type of equipment. Right? In my case, I have AMD. I'm going to click on Next. And now we're done with the wizard. So we'll go ahead and click on Finish. All right, here's our new miner. All right, so now we have to set up a pool for Ethereum. All right, so we're going to go ahead and click on New Pool. Okay, we're going to give it a description. We'll call this Ethereum-MPH so I know what pool it is. All right, and now it's asking for server URL. So let's go over to Mining Pool Hub. Okay, on MiningPoolHub.com, you'll see on the left-hand side, there are a bunch of different coins, and each one has its own page. So we'll click on Ethereum. All right, and here we have some information for miner settings, number two. All right, so depending on where you are, US, Europe, or Asia, you can select this server address. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that into here. All right, so we'll just paste that right there. We're going to put a colon, and we need the port address, all right, which isn't listed here. Uh, but if you do a little digging, you can find it elsewhere. The only thing is, is that I haven't had particular success using the ports that they provide, like the standard port here, it doesn't work. So I use this port right here, 20536. This one will work, all right? So we'll go ahead and put that in, 20536, okay? For your worker name, it's gonna be your username dot worker name, all right? So the username at miningpoolhub.com for me is Goosetech, all right? And you put a dot, and this is called miner1. All right, and then for the worker password, we'll just put an X. All right, as for optional settings, we're going to set the coin to Ethereum. So we're going to scroll up here to where it says ET hash or Ethereum. Here we go. And that's right here, ETH. Okay, so this way, Awesome Miner will give us an accurate readout for how much we're making with that mining. Click OK. All right, and then the next step would be to set up our profit switching so that it's mining Ethereum. All right, so we'll go over here to Options click on profit switching all right make sure it's this little box is checked where it says enable managed profit switching make sure the custom pools box is checked all right and we're gonna set this to ethereum see how we just set that right there ethereum dash mph that's the new pool we just added all right we'll click OK the last thing to do on miningpoolhub.com is to set up your wallet so on the Ethereum pool page, underneath my account, you'll click on Wallet. And this is your online wallet. This is where you'll see how much Ethereum you have mined. In the bottom left here, underneath where it says Normal Wallet, the amount will show up right here. Now, it's always good to store your crypto in an external or offline wallet. Um, I won't go into details about which wallet to use. I'll leave that up to you, but I will recommend downloading the Ethereum wallet from their website. Once you have a wallet address, um, you take the receive address from your wallet, copy that, and paste it up here where it says payment address, okay? And then you can set an automatic payout threshold if you like, so this way, once it reaches a certain amount, it will automatically be withdrawn and sent over to your external wallet. Whatever you choose, you put that there, and then on your four-digit pin, enter that and click Update Account. Then you're good to go. And that's it. You're ready to start mining. So let me go ahead and minimize this and click Start. 
And as you can see here, it's pulling up Claymore's Dual Ethereum, which is made for AMD. So it already knows, based on the profit profile that we chose, which mining software to use. Okay, as you can see, it's hashing away. We've got a hash rate of 8.8, .8, which is also being reported to Awesome Miner. And that's already calculating how much we're making per day mining Ethereum. So I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please give me a thumbs up. Be sure to hit subscribe and ding the bell so you get future updates because I'll be doing more coins later. So thanks for watching, guys. God bless. Oh,